Hey, Max Leeds. What do you do when you're struggling with your workouts and it's the beginning of the year and you're really just seeing fitness as more of a chore as opposed to something that to, can really help you reach your goals? Well, one of the most direct ways to address this issue is to look at your value system. A lot of times we tend to put things of higher value than others. It's not about what's right or what's wrong. It's more so about how you value things. For example, if you're a person who gets up every day to go to work and you're not necessarily enthusiastic about work, but you keep doing it over and over and over and you do it every day or at least five out of seven days a week, well, what causes you to keep going? Someone will, you know, people will say, well, it's because I make money. But it's not about making money. It's about what money does for you. For some people, money is a form of security, a form of comfort. So on your value system, security and comfort may be something that's really, really high on the list. And you'll do whatever it takes to get security and comfort. Hence why you keep going to work, especially if you don't like it. So how does that really apply to fitness? Well, what exactly is the goal that you're pursuing when it comes to fitness? And where does that fall on your value scale compared to other things? So if you're saying, hey, I just want to have the really, you know, really great body by the summer, that might not be a very, very high priority on your list. For some people it is, but for others it's not because they only want it for that season. After that season finishes, they never think past that. So it's not something that's really high priority. For other people, they might have had a health scare. And now that health scare has prompted them to start working out more. So if you're in that situation, perhaps the, the fear of whatever the medical condition is, is very, very high on your value list. So you're going to do whatever it takes for you to get away from that medical condition. So you have to look at the things that you really value. And for many people, they may not have strong enough fitness goals to start off with. The desire and the value that you put on a goal should outweigh any mood or any emotional state that you're in. And that's the difference when it comes to fitness goals. So first things first, reevaluate what your fitness goal is and how high it is. If you want to increase the value of your fitness goal, really imagine what it's like having already accomplished your goal. Feel what it's like. If it's to be stronger, imagine a scenario where you're actually utilizing your strength. You know, imagine a scenario where other people can see you having already achieved your goal, interacting with those people, how they interact with you. Put yourself into the future having already accomplished your goal and see how that feels. I call it test driving the new you. If you can test drive the new you and you value it, then you run with it. But if it's something that's not of value, then you discard it. It's just like when you go to a dealership and what does everybody want to do? They want to test that, test drive that car. When you test drive that car, that's when you know if it's something that you really, really want. It's the same idea. You got to test drive the new you. Imagine what it's like. If it's something of high value, you're more likely to stick with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, or follow. And until next time, you max your life.